Good morning, folks. Stealth CME releasing this morning. We've got eruption watches as well across the Earth-facing disk, exoplanet news, and the usual wind maps, but we're getting started today over at spaceweathernews.com where we're finding the last 24 hours on our star were calm, except for the centralized sunspot group, surging and popping. A little burst came out left, 90 degrees behind Earth's orbital position. The more interesting note is how a simple magnetic sunspot group had too many umbral fields trying to connect to small umbras in the trailing portion of it, couldn't keep its plasma together and released some of it. Now interestingly, the only CME from that southern event was the little blip going left away from Earth, but look up top, jet, magnetic field interaction, expansion, release, stealth CME. With Stereo A positioned perfectly to the side so it can see the eruptions, it is important to note that the southern reach of the expanding CME, which is admittedly tough to see just coming out this morning, appears to be potentially able to clip Earth's magnetic field, so we will do reanalysis tonight and will be watching for that in the solar wind. Coming now, a bit closer in on the sunspots, two groups as a small new region is born north of the big one. Nice to see hemispheric polarity maintained as blue positive leads on the south and red negative on the north. Big guy is fairly split and popping due to its internal power only. New guy actually looks to be able to complex quickly, so we'll have to have eyes on him. We also have to be mindful of the plasma filaments. This is one of the ropes currently turning across the Earth-facing disk. Not easy to maintain such a tall and thin structure, and eruptions are probable. Next coronal holes facing us today, so it won't be until the weekend that their solar wind arrives. Quake watch due to them peaks today as well. Folks, this is the first exoplanet discovered by Sphere. An earlier discovery has been significantly called into question, especially now that they see what it really looks like to catch one. Their visual stacking is going to revolutionize how we spot other worlds. Speaking of which, a very cool animation demonstrating how orbital resonance and gravity might work together to form an entire solar system from just an initial star and a large super-Earth orbiting it. All it takes is the objects and the initial kink in the fabric of the system. Folks, that is Mount Vesuvius, but it didn't erupt. It's on fire. Wildfires painting a picture reminiscent of disaster long ago. There are a good deal of people evacuated due to the risk spreading with increased winds and favorable conditions. We also saw a potential geologic event in Mexico where a smoke eruption appeared in a field out of nowhere, just like in that story of the mountain that grew in a day. Subsoil temperatures exceed 200 degrees, but no ground movement indicates it is hopefully just geothermal heat and not a new volcano. Lastly, to continue the trend of disastrous monsoon shifts from the Middle East to Japan, Vietnam right in the middle was the most recent recipient of way too much rain in the Northern Territories. Deaths and significant loss of property are already being reported. Three days left until we pick two pre-registered conference attendees to get free room upgrades and some extra gifts. We greatly appreciate your support and can't wait to make the fourth conference the best one yet. Observatoryproject.com Be sure to check out your other resources as well. We've got your wind maps, 